Okay, so basically this is what happened. Everyone was pointing fingers at airlines, accusing them of putting up their prices during the World Cup. Gidon Novik, CEO of Kalula, responded by challenging all the airlines in the press to keep their prices low. That's when they briefed the agency to do a very simple ad. The response was immediate. By Monday lunchtime, Kalula had sold 3 million bucks worth of tickets. Then FIFA got involved. In a letter to Kalula, they demanded that the ad be withdrawn, claiming trademark violations. We immediately did what any ad agency would do. We put it on Twitter and Facebook. The response was immediate. Bloggers and tweeters alike were appalled at what FIFA claimed to be their trademarks. The media soon followed. FIFA had demanded that Kalula withdraw the ad, which we were happy to do. It was only meant to run once and we had another one in production. With a few tweaks, the ad was adjusted to make the most out of FIFA's ridiculous request. Everything soccer related was cunningly disguised. The media continued to love it. So Kilula followed up with billboards. And a barrage of five second radio spots using Kilula's famous pale fly mnemonic. Low prices, no subtle double meaning.com. Lowest airfares, no controversy this time.com. No prices and no lawyers, please.com. We're on our best behavior now, seriously, promise.com. On April Fool's Day, we trademarked the sky. and placed an ad in a British tabloid when they ran a ridiculous article about earthquakes in South Africa during the World Cup. Finally, the World Cup arrived, and we had another go at poking fun at FIFA, giving free flights to anyone whose name is Sepp Blatter. And weren't we completely bowled over and surprised when out of the blue, a cute photogenic little Boston Terrier named Sepp Blatter stuck up his paw and demanded his free flights. <laughs> what are the chances? So Kalula ran another ad, acknowledging that they would honor their original offer. And they flew Sepp around the country, absolutely free of charge. The media fell in love with Sepp the dog. And once again, Kalula made even more mileage out of the World Cup right until the final whistle. The results of this campaign, 6.8 million rands worth of free publicity and a 33% increase in ticket sales. And as they say in Switzerland, that's a yearbook, guys.